Hi, I'm Brad Fox. I'm with Big Shoulders Digital Video Productions. We're a full-service uh, television production company here in Chicago. We travel all over the world doing video, shooting, sending our crews, sending producers, capturing video for our clients. We're very broad in, in what we do, and that's why we're still around. A lot of our competitors are out of business because they were very narrow in what they did. Uh, one did a cooking show. One only worked with corporations. One only worked with TV networks. Well, things change, people change. So if somebody's the boss at this place now, and they change, or they move on, or they get fired, your connection, your contact, your link to that company, your link to that business is gone. So that's why you need to be diverse. We're very diverse in our client base, and um, we uh, are pretty busy uh, with editing. We provide camera crews. We're the only company in Chicago with five cameramen and five sound men on staff. We have 18 different camera packages. We have six trucks filled with equipment. Uh, we have five editing suites. We have staff editors. We hire a lot of freelance editors. Um, we have an audio room with a whole HD Pro Tool system for um, recording voiceovers, for fixing audio. We had a client where they shot in this kitchen and there was all this background sound and our audio engineer was able to eliminate a lot of that background sound so that you can only hear the speaker. So as, as for our clients, we do a lot of different TV shows, um, a lot of corporate videos, um, and the thing you need to remember is you need to know as much as you can about what you want to do, but also when you're working with people, you need to learn about them. So now you can go online, search them, search the person that you're going to be working with if you're told that this person's going to be the video producer, search them. Search LinkedIn. Um, Facebook is okay, but that's really more personal stuff, whereas LinkedIn is more professional. So you should search companies, search people, and find out what their background is, what they know, how long they've been with the company, that type of stuff. It just gives you more information so you're prepared to, to do a better job. And, and maybe even um, you know, when you're on a break or something with this person, you could say, hey, how did you like working over at XYZ Company? Let's stop with questions. Any questions? Yeah. You know what? Um, I was with one of your uh, cohorts on Saturday. Um, he works at Big Shoulders, Jeff. I can't remember his last name. Jeff Tudor. Tudor, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was uh, talking to more or less on the internship st um, side right. of things and the resume right. yeah, aspect. And uh, I was just kind of curious. Is how do you go about um, getting in contact with you know anybody at your at Good your question. Business? Yeah. With, with any company, um, in our business especially, there are people that are the point person, the internship coordinator, uh, the internship manager. Uh, that was my role for 10 years. Um, I gave it up. Uh, this guy that uh, this gentleman mentioned, uh, Jeff. Jeff came in um, a couple years ago and, and took over the internship program. Internships are really important. Uh, nowadays, the world is so competitive, you have no idea how much experience the other person that's applying for the same job has. You need to have an internship, you need to have multiple internships if you can, because that gives you hands-on experience. I mean, the school is great, they have equipment, they have the equipment that you need to know how to use, but the internship will carry to the next level. You need to have experience in whatever you want to do, but as I've already said, if you have experience in other areas, like audio, even if you want to shoot, you still need to know audio. You know, I, I learned audio the hard way because in Rockford, I was the last one hired and I had the uh, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. shift. So I covered all the late news um, as a cameraman and I would have to go out and interview somebody or shoot a fire or interview the fire chief, you know, with the fire blazing in the background. Uh, but I didn't know audio. And I mean, it's one thing to get video, but if you don't have audio with it, video is worthless. That's something that a lot of people, that's a good question. Uh, a lot of people don't know that almost every, t every advertising agency, every public relations agency has an internal video expert. They might need to know internet. They might need to know IT. They might need to know graphics. They might need to know audio. But every agency has an internal person at the agency. So 
um, here in Chicago. I mean, uh, that is one of the few opportunities for an entry-level job in Chicago. I always, whenever I talk to um, anybody that's either in school or just graduated, I recommend leave Chicago. Go to Rockford. Go to Peoria. Go to West Bend. Go to South Bend. Go to Elkhart, Indiana. Go to Green Bay, Wisconsin, if you can handle the Packers. <laughs> but uh, um, it's, it's something that you need to do. You need to leave Chicago. Who knows what market number Chicago is? Green. Right. Who knows what Green Bay is? It's probably 30-something. Yeah. But I started in Rockford. When I started in Rockford, it was market, uh, it was market 97. Now it's 112 because the, it's, the market number is what? Based on population. So if, if Naperville had a TV station or Aurora had a TV station, um, that would be a, a very high market because there's such a large population. Um, so Talk a little bit about Rockford, why it was such a good market to, to learn. Okay, so it's not just Rockford, but any, any market outside of Chicago, Chicago you're going to do more. You're going to have more responsibility. You're going to use more equipment. You're going to do different things than you'd ever do in Chicago. In Chicago, as a cameraman, you're going to be a cameraman, a camera person. Um, or operate a satellite truck, or a TV truck, or a microwave truck, or audio. Uh, well, in Chicago, the, state, the crews don't have audio anymore. The camera person is also the audio engineer. And they have to carry the lights, carry the tripod, carry everything. Um, but in Rockford, or in any small market, you have a lot more responsibility, and there's smaller crew, smaller staff. You know, in Rockford, there were four camera operators, and this was a long time ago. I don't know how many there are now. But that camera operator, I didn't have an audio engineer, and had to do everything. And you'd go from this fire to this city council meeting to this shooting or whatever, a robbery, or to... Um, in the park, in the city park, they have all these events. You know, uh, they had a, a famous uh, row, uh, a boat, a boat regatta, make your own, you know, cardboard boat races and stuff like that. So, you know, there, there is, there's all sorts of different types of fun news. Um, but um, if you like news, if you watch news, news is a great business. But in Rockford, there's also production companies like Big Shoulders, and they're also doing all different things. So. Don't just try to get a job in Chicago because most likely you're going to get a lot of rejections. That's why the smaller markets, with experience you got here, you're going to be valuable to them. Stay a couple of years. You might fall in love with it. You might live there forever. Well, not Rockford. Not Rockford. Well, I know. I had to leave. I, had, I, had, I have a, a couple friends that I used to work with in Rockford. They, from Rockford, the natural progression is Milwaukee. Milwaukee's a top 20 market. It's a great city. Um, there's a lot of good news, a lot of bad news, a lot of business news, a lot of corporate news, a lot of stuff going on in Milwaukee. These guys, it's going on 20 years that I've known these people. They're still there. A lot of people in news move, move, move. But Rockford's a livable city. It's affordable, and you also make a good salary. So did I say Rockford? I meant Milwaukee. 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 Milwaukee is a good city. Rockford is a stepping stone, honestly. Not many people stay there. The people on camera, if you want to do on camera, like a, um, the reporters or anchors of the news, you need to stay for a long time. You start as a reporter, and then you move up to anchor. Weekend anchor, then weekday anchor, morning anchor, then you get to 10 p.m. That's prime time, and that's, that's where the big money is. Um, but experience is important. Um, and small markets are the best way to start. Five tips. Um, listen. Um, you need to listen. You need to understand what they're talking about, whoever your boss is. You know, make sure you understand what they're asking of you. Um, you need to be into technology. In this business, you need to know what's going on. It doesn't mean going out to the Consumer Electronics Show every, uh, every summer and out to Las Vegas, but you need to know what's going on. You need to know what technology is coming, 
whether it's wireless. You know, wireless has just taken this world by storm. Um, you know, there's now technology where you wear a backpack and you put a camera on your shoulder and you can broadcast walking around anywhere in the world. On your and you're broadcasting back to your TV station and they're going live. If you watch any of the storm coverage lately, the local TV stations all have these backpacks. Um, and uh, the number one manufacturer is DeGero. These backpacks are a hard drive and they contain eight cell phone cards with the 4G cell phone cards. And what they do is they take the video and audio that you're sending from your camera and microphone and they broadcast it on a cell signal back to the TV station. The TV station receives it. They combine all eight cell signals into a broadcast signal. And that's why when you see reporters driving down the highway, broadcasting live, they can do that. The old days, you had to park and set up the satellite truck and you couldn't move. So that's new technology. You have to know what new technology is.